Okay, look. These protests are not going to go away. Not anytime soon. And there's a really simple reason for that is because our police forces are all simply going to refuse to dial down any of their strategies, any of their tactics. They're going to keep on doing what they're doing, which means that it's inevitable we're going to have another Mike Brown. We're going to have another Eric Garner. We're going to have another Sean Bell. It's just going to continue and continue and continue, and it's not going to stop. And what's going to continue to happen is the American people are going to be saying, okay, enough. You, ha you have to stop this now. This, this is no longer working. Uh, this is overkill. Going, something's not working. You have to stop. They're going to take to the streets. And the only response our police forces are going to have is they're going to add riot shields. They're going to add riot. They're, 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 they're just going to continue to bulk up uh, 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 on the hostility and the equipment to go with. They, 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 they are not going to draw down their weapons. Um, and every one of these protests is, is, is just... So, so it, um, we're going to hit an impasse. It's not going to go away. <coughs> and uh, the more... The more our police forces insist on using force, the more unpopular you're going to get. Um, so, uh, this, and so this is not going to go away. Um, our leaders don't really want any sort of movement like this to develop ever. But yet, here, here we are, they're stuck. They're, they're stuck because the only thing they know how to do is to just supply more for if it, if your only tool is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I mean, you know, it's stupid, but that's the way it is. Uh, so there, there, there is at least one way out of this, and but before I get to that, I want, uh, I want to talk about the difference between. American police and, and, and police in other parts of the world. He, here that we know of, the best number that we have right now is there are approximately f 500 police shootings a year. Okay. Um, and, and, and a lot of them, a lot, a lot of them are admittedly, admittedly justified. Okay. But um, see, for starters, that's not, even, that's not even a real number. Okay. That's not even a real number because they're not even reporting their... Um, on ongoing numbers to the FBI. The FBI doesn't know this. <coughs> we're, we're a nation of 300 million people. Uh, the combined populations of Japan, Germany, and England comes out to um, very, very close to the same population, you know, almost, almost equivalent in size. Yet, um, between those three countries, there have been three police shootings in a year. So, a um, really, really common popular phrase, and it's right up there on my Facebook wall right now, uh, as my cover photo is, fuck the police. Um, that's actually wrong. Okay? That, uh, be, you need to change the word. It's fuck these police. Not fuck the police, because the uh, bottom line is, we want cops. Right? We, 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 we've always had them. They not always. Um, they're actually a recent American invention, but we 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 we've all not to get lost in the woods. But but but, but yeah, everybody's got cops, and has had them for, for for well over a century, and we all agree that this this is a method that somehow works. Um, but when it's so out of balance, um, no nobody's going to tell me that Germany, England, and Japan are less civilized than we are. Okay, um, but they they clearly know what they're doing. And we don't, okay? Um, we're, we're out of control. And you keep hearing the phrase, one bad, oh, it's, look, it's just a couple of bad apples, right? 
Well, here, here, here's the thing. That entire phrase is a bad apple can ruin the whole barrel, which means at that point, what you need to do is toss the barrel. The barrel's got to go. Okay, and pretty much um, we put all these guys out on pension, pasteurize them, um, put, put them in places where, where um, the respect for their authority is going to come without the gun badge uniform. Okay, um, you, you, you have them go fill pot, plenty of work here to do, uh, replace them. Don't get rid of them, we need cops, that would be stupid, but um, replace them. Um, do it by lottery, do, uh, do it by lottery, national draft. Um, th that, that way you won't have <coughs> self-selecting people, and, and it's not like this has not been done before, okay? Um, Less, less, less than a quarter. Well, n now just 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 over a quarter century ago, the East Germans, um, they disbanded their police. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, twenty five years ago, um, the East Germans pretty much disbanded their dysfunctional police force, um, the Stasi. They got rid of them. They 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 they're, they're gone. Um, so, so we know it can be done. Um, what was the the, the that, that, was, that was not an experiment, experiment that, that's an actual reality, so we know it can be done. Um, and, and it probably needs to happen sooner and later. Um, the, 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 the amount of shootings added, added to the beatings, okay, uh, the, the physical non-lethal stuff is it, it, just off the charts too. Um, uh, I would like to see the CDC numbers on that, but uh, so that's pretty much where, where where we're at. And for right now, this is my contribution. Thank thanks for your time and thanks for listening, Dave. Bye.